cocaine, bout to bring in some pain All my haters like a choir, they all singing my name Ain't got a heart for a brow, that's the rule of the game Now you a fool if you aim, I put a tool to your brain I'm about to get it Yo, 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 it's Honey Cocaine, shout out to HotNewHipHop.com Make sure you download my latest release called 90s Gold Hosted by DJ Ill Will Toronto. So this is Jason Ray with Hot New Hip Hop, chilling with Honey Cocaine. Um, you killed it on the stage. How are you feeling right now? Um, just really tired, but um, on a, it's like the last day of tour too. So we ended off in Montreal, and I just feel really accomplished right now. Like I'm proud, but I'm just exhausted. Yeah, for real, no doubt. And how was the tour? Tour in general? Well, it was like five months long. We did America, we did like a lot of Europe, and then we did, you know, the major cities in Canada. And honestly, like looking back, it's like it was an amazing experience. And like, uh, like the opportunities, like I used to dream of as a kid, and it was like it just came, became reality within the last five months. So it's like it's good, it's great. Um, what would you say is like the most memorable, or some of the most memorable things that have happened on tour um, that you can say? Uh, um, the shooting. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I had like a great time with like the Last Kings people. Like we we're just such a like a good group. We always have fun. We just party and just you know just being young and wild and just going crazy and like honestly a lot of the nights I can't even really remember. But it's just the whole thing in general, the whole tour. It's probably just the greatest memory I'll ever have, ever. And obviously speaking of that traumatic shooting, I mean, how was the recovery from that? Like, I'm, I'm sure it was like shocking, you know? Well, yeah. I made a song about it, it's called Who Shot Me, so you could go on Hot so New Hip Hop and listen to it. We are keeping track of Tyga's Twitter page this morning. Now it shows that one of the people shot was rapper Honey Cocaine. She's 19 years old and police say she was shot in the arm. Huh. Right now, there are no arrests. All police are saying is that the suspects were driving uh, a black Ford Taurus. Uh, yo, who shot ya? Said the motherfucking doctor. Shit, I don't know. Just touring with my partner. And just sort of going back to the beginning, uh, signing with, with Last Kings and Tyga, uh, how did he initially reach out to you, and were you surprised? Um... He reached out to me through uh, YouTube because uh, I just used to do like little videos of me spitting and shit. Sorry. And um, I don't know how I did. I remixed the Rock City and he, he heard it. He's seen it, I guess. And he reached out to me through Twitter. And yeah, I was kind of surprised. But I know I kind of felt it coming. Like I kind of felt like a break coming for me because I've been working really hard, you know, in the studio all day, skipping school. Really? <laughs> yeah. And, and I guess how long have you been rapping? Or? Um. I started writing poetry when I was like, I still have like little diaries when I was like six, five, six, seven. I started, I chose like the rap lane when I was seven, eight. I started writing raps and then by 10, 11, I was recording. And obviously congratulations to you with 90s Gold. I mean, it's it's been really well received on Hot New Hip Hop. Is it sort of surpassing expectations or, or I mean, you knew it was gonna be hot, right? Yeah, yeah. I worked hard on it and it was like, I don't know, what inspired me to do that was just, when I was in Europe, I would hear like old songs in the club and stuff. And then, um, I don't know, I was just like, yo, this is like music I grew up listening to and everyone's gonna love it because it's familiar to everyone, you know? And I knew it was gonna be hot. So, so I put it on Honey Hip Hop. <laughs> and uh, being from Toronto, I mean, there's, do you feel like uh, influenced by the new age rap sound that's coming out of there or working with anybody in particular in Toronto? Um, not at the moment, but if uh, the opportunity does arise, and yeah, I'll work with like quite a number of people from Toronto because we're just so we're so talented there. Like the youth is just we're so creative. We're like creating this new sound, you know. But shout outs to Drake, shout outs to Tory Lanez, D Pride, uh, Rima Major, those like the artists from Toronto, up and coming. Well, not Drake, but the other three, and it's like no one has heard anything like us before. Um, and obviously your life has changed, I mean, traveling so much, but in terms of working on music, do you work in Toronto or is it like elsewhere? I work everywhere, wherever I can go to the studio, but I'm always working in my head. I always have like ideas, just ideas, creative ideas flowing through my brain all the time and I would just pull out my phone and, yo, that line is sick, I need to write that down, so I write it down, just use it later when I can hit up the studio. Honey cocaine, bitch. And, and Tyga and, and Honey Cocaine. Um, t- 
a surprise, but it's gold. Okay. It's gonna be gold. We're just working hard. We we don't even know ourselves. It's like when we go in the studio, or we're just sitting together, and it's like, all right, we're gonna do this now. It's just all in the spur of the moment, but we know it's gonna be crazy. All right. Well, congratulations, obviously, from all of us at Hot New Hip Hop. Keep doing your thing, and thanks for talking with us. Honey cocaine, bitch. Thank you.